Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. I am your news host Parvati Nirban and let's get into the world of crypto with English News Bulletin. Let's have a look at the headlines first. Indian crypto exchanges raise minimum deposit scout for payment partner. Beanstalk stablecoin project hacked for 76 million dollars in a flash loan exploit. Cryptocurrencies fall tracking weak global stocks. Bitcoin trades below forty thousand dollars. Olympus DAO co-founder faces lawsuit from an investor. European Commission gets over ten thousand comments amid digital euro consultation. Telangana government is rode to launch space tech framework on metaverse. Crypto Twitter react as Russian government reviews finalized crypto bill. Amazon won't adopt crypto payment option anytime soon. Indian crypto exchanges have increased the minimum amount of deposit by a significant margin even as they scout for alternative payment providers after Mobivik, a local payment service provider, stopped working with exchanges on April 1. leaving investors with no option to deposit rupee funds to deal in digital assets coin dcx has increased the minimum deposit bar from rupees 100 to 3000 rupees other exchanges are likely to follow suit soon the move comes after the reserve bank of india and indian banks association controlled national payment corporation of india which enables digital payments and settlement systems in india signaled its unwillingness to extend its services to cryptocurrency exchanges. Mobivix's decision to discontinue services earlier this month has forced Wazirx, CoinDCX and several other crypto exchanges to suspend rupee deposits. Reports citing government officials said the idea is to limit the reach of crypto until the crypto bill gets enacted by the parliament. Crypto investors can however continue to use other methods of payment such as transferring money to the exchange's current accounts though this could be a time consuming manual process and may be fraught with errors investors can also engage in peer to peer trading where transfers of fiat are handled directly between the counterparties meanwhile daily trading volume on indian crypto exchanges which collectively service about 15 million people have fallen by between 85% and 95% since peaking last year Wazirx India's biggest crypto board saw volumes drop 93% from an October high. Beanstalk, a credit-based stablecoin protocol built on Ethereum, became the latest DeFi project to suffer an exploit. An attacker used a flash loan exploit to drain the protocol's fund early this Sunday. According to EtherScan data, the hackers leveraged AAVA's flash loan feature to withdraw liquidity. from the protocol and then used uniswap to trade dai usdc and usdt for ethereum they got away with 24830 ethereum worth around 76 million dollars at current prices but the protocol's losses are estimated to be much higher at around 180 million dollars the hackers after the exploit siphoned the funds through the ethereum mixer tornado cash to obfuscate their transaction history The attacker also donated $250,000 to Ukraine before moving the funds to Tornado Cash. The Bean token, once pegged at rupee one, dropped to nearly zero. The project creator wrote in the Discord, "This project has not had any venture backing, so it is highly unlikely there is any sort of bailout coming." However, they were later slightly more optimistic, writing, "It may also be start of something good." there may be a path forward they also told members of their community that they had contacted the fbi about the theft cryptocurrencies fell in early morning trades monday tracking weak global stocks indicative of investors weak risk appetite and continued economic and geopolitical uncertainty asian stocks trade mixed with nikkei trading lower by over a percent US stock futures 200 at weaker opening with S&P index and tech heavy Nasdaq index trading lower by over 0.5%. Investors continue to remain concerned over the rising inflation. 
the possibility of a recession and the latest developments from the Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Bitcoin, the biggest cryptocurrency, failed to hold on above $40,000 despite sustained buying by Loon Foundation Guard, which now reportedly holds $1.7 billion of digital assets. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at $39,750, down 1.6% in the past 24 hours. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, was trading below $3,000, also down 2.2% in the same time frame. Jason Liang, a crypto investor based in Australia, has filed a lawsuit against the co-founders of Olympus DAO, alleging that he was cheated out almost 4 million OHM tokens. According to Liang, he paid 50,000 DAI in exchange for 4 million POHM, an OHM-based token that was used to bootstrap liquidity for the protocol. The deal was that later, Liang and other investors would be able to exchange the POHM for OHM and the cash in on their investment. Liang accused the pseudonymous co-founder Apollo to have tampered with the smart contracts, which prevented him from redeeming his POHM. The lawsuit further accused the Olympus team of abusing their pseudonymity to protect themselves against liability. The European Commission has received about 10,000 public suggestions thus far on its call for getting feedback for the possible establishment and regulation of a digital currency as a new form of central bank money. The Commission held consultations aimed to help policymakers consider issues including users' needs and expectation for a digital euro, a digital euro's role for the EU's retail payment and digital economy, the application of money laundering rules, privacy and data protection aspects and international payments. A working document aims to collect information from industry specialists, payment service providers, payment infrastructure providers, development of payment solutions, merchants, merchant associations, consumer associations, retail payment regulators and supervisors, anti-money laundering supervisors, financial intelligence units, and other relevant authorities and experts. The EU has yet to make a decision on whether to issue a digital currency, with the consultation serving as a precursor to any law drafting that may happen in 2023. The Telangana government, in collaboration with Indian Space Research Organization, will unveil its space tech framework on Party Night Metaverse today from 5 to 6.30 p.m. with a vision to establish Telangana as a globally recognized one-stop destination for space technology. The event is expected to be an India's first-ever official event hosted on Metaverse. The Space Tech Framework aims to encourage private participation in the space industry in line with recent reforms by the Union Government. The event shall be inaugurated by State IT Minister K.T. Ramarao, CEO of Niti Aayog, Amitabh Kant, ISRO Chairman Somnathan S., and InSpace Chairman Dr. Pawan Goenka will also be present at the event. Attendees will be able to join the event using standard avatars on the platform and interact with the nearby participants while observing the event's proceedings, just like in a physical event. Further, a non-fungible token collection shall be launched at the end of the event. Party Night is a metaverse platform created by Hyderabad-based VR, AR and robotics firm Gametronics. That's all for today's news. For daily news and updates of crypto world, don't forget to watch English News Bulletin twice a day only on Crypto TV. I'm your news host Parvati Nirvan signing off for now. See you tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Tada! -da.